This video tutorial will guide you through the Purchase Orders module in MyVision Express. Via the Purchase Orders module, you will be able to create purchase orders for your suppliers of various inventory items like frames, stock spectacle lenses, contact lenses, etc. You will be able to specify the supplier, the items you wish to order, the quantity, and price amongst other things. Items can be added manually or auto-created. You can then save, print out, and fax or mail or transmit electronically. When the order comes in, you can use receiving to reconcile your order. To access the purchase orders module, you will go to File, Inventory, Purchase Orders. Let's take a few moments to get familiar with the fields in the screen. The fields at the top will autofill based on certain information. The PO ID and PO date will be generated when you save the purchase order. The supplier will fill in according to the supplier you select on the dropdown. The status will set to open when you save the PO and the employee will autofill with the name of the employee that's currently signed into the system. Let's go through an example of ordering stock lenses. This is the lab where I order my stock lenses from. Notice the supplier has already filled in here. Next we'll go into items. You can click on the UPC field and scan in or manually enter the UPC for the items that you wish to add. This will begin to populate your purchase order. You can also click on the inventory item type specific to the supplier and it will bring up a list of items you can order. Let's click on lenses. Notice that it brings my list down to only the lenses that I have available in my inventory with stock configurations. We will select this lens. You can select the individual item. If you want to select multiple, you would do so by holding down the control key. And if you want to select all, you would hold down the control key and press A. And select. Notice the source of these has been set to user defined. And the default quantity is one. You can manually go in here and change these quantities. Let's say three for this one, five for that one, four for this one, and so on. You can also auto-create a purchase order. When you do, you will need to select a valid date range. And hit Create. When you auto-create, MyVision Express will bring in all orders that meet one of two criteria. The item was set to the source of order at the order level, and here in fact we have our order ID or the item has reached its predetermined order point and here is our reorder points. If you wish to add an item that did not fill into the date range you can enter an order number and click add order or again you can just click on the UPC field and scan or manually enter the UPC for the configuration that you add and you will see the source as user as we did prior. Once done you can click create PO and yes you'll save changes and here's your purchase order again you can email fax or print out and transmit via any other method to your supplier and we will close to create a purchase order for frames contact lenses or other inventory items you can follow the same procedure clicking edit the PO will change the status of the purchase order to hold and you can go in and edit the purchase order when you click save it will go back to the open status you can't edit a purchase order whose status is set to closed or partial let's close this and search for purchase order number 38 so that we can see the receive tab and its functionality again we'll go to file inventory purchase orders and we'll click search we'll select 38 we'll go to the receive tab anything that's highlighted in green has been fulfilled anything that's not is still remaining you can see there's four remaining and two that were cancelled of the remaining four were placed on back order let's close and we won't save any changes here now let's say several days have passed and you've now received your box with lenses from the lab we we'll go to file inventory transactions receiving Next, click Select PO. A purchase order selection screen will appear. Click on the desired PO. This is the one we just created. 
and we'll click select and it brings the items into my receiving screen let's scroll to the right and here we have how many we ordered and here's where you will enter how many you received say so you received one one two three one and let's say you got six of these if you would have canceled them you would have put them here if let's say your invoice says 10 but you only have six lenses in your box then those would be missing or missed and you would put in a missed reason here remaining quantities would be here if you back ordered something you would put in here notice the remaining quantity updated only when I clicked off the receive field it now correctly shows four let's put four on back order if you canceled any you could have put here a cancel reason and scrolling all the way to the right you will see that there's a notes field that you can put in a note for each individual line item notice that the cost comes in with the regular cost that's associated with the inventory item since these are stock lenses we know that they had a lower cost you can come in here and change the cost accordingly let's say this cost you 450 450 and we'll make them all 450 okay and here you'll see your plus minus cost difference let's update our on hand here it's going to ask you would you like to average the cost of these products I will say yes and now I can click close this concludes this video tutorial thank you for watching please remember to visit us at support central where you can view additional video tutorials